Hello there. Obi here. So, if you haven't already read the title, we're going to be talking about chest cooking. If you're a veteran to this game, you already know what this is. I'm not going to teach you anything new. But you're new to the game, you might learn something. So, let's get started. So I have here a bag full of uncooked pumpkin pieces. And I want to cook them uh, the most efficient way possible. Well, it's really simple and I'm going to teach you how. First we're going to need a fuel source. Now we can use just usual normal wood cut wedges like oak ones that you can find everywhere. You can use coal as well, but what I like to use is this wood found only in Hebeus camps. Um, a lot of people like to think that this is maybe ash wood, uh, but it's not. In fact, this wood seems to be pretty useless. Um, it seems like there's no use for it, but a lot of people call it infinite wood or water wood or hevious wood. Uh, the code calls it charred wood. The purpose of this wood for us is going to be for cooking. So we can actually use this wood um, to cook and not an infinite amount as people suggest because uh, it does burn out but it lasts much much longer than wood and and much longer than coal uh, so we're gonna hold on to that and now we need to go get some grass I'm gonna go co collect some grass and some flint and then we're gonna go to a chest so like I said we need to find ourselves a chest that doesn't have a loot table um, or like a safe chest and they can be found in a lot of different places you could go near the televator near the mines and there's four chests there you could go to tavern and if you make your way upstairs there are two chests there if you're ever on a populated server and you see chests full of bones I'm gonna explain why um, some other chests that are safe are gonna be in the campsites and I'm gonna go here um, one thing that I do like about the campsites um, is the fact that there is a water bucket and a place to cook with the cauldron uh, and a place for chest cooking. I don't really find this feature quite useful, but if you want to learn about it, I have another video about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bones and we're going to put one in each slot. And we're going to explain why uh, in a minute. And so, all right. So here's what we need to do. We need to cook one piece of food. So I'm going to take some grass and I'm going to put it at the bottom of this chest. I'll take two pieces just to kind of even it out. Um, I'm going to put a piece of wood right here to start. And all I want to do right now is I want to cook one piece. So let's get this started. We'll start this fire. All right. So. Let's go down here. And we can already see that my my pumpkin is cooking. And we want this to cook. So you will know that it has cooked when it has changed color. Okay, so it's ready. So what we're gonna do is take this cooked piece, we're gonna throw it in here, pull out one bone. Come on now, why are you not working? There we go, and it should, <laughs> it should automatically pop up here and it should stop cooking once it's in here. Okay, so just to be safe, put some fuel in there another piece there. I don't really need to have two pieces, but I'm just going to do it anyway. And now watch this. All we need to do is start throwing our uncooked pumpkin into this chest until it's like overflowing. It's quite annoying that I keep trying to eat, even though I'm full. Um, and so this is about it. We're going to wait until this cooks. And I'm gonna kinda watch this number one here. 
and I think you can guess what's gonna happen. It's like I'm on fire. I need a backup. <laughs> so we're gonna watch this number one. Okay, so after about a minute, you can see what's already happening. All of this pumpkin is cooking, and as it cooks and as it changes uh, from uncooked to cooked, it now is going in here. So now I think you understand why these bones are here. If these bones were not here and I threw uncooked pumpkin in here, the uncooked pumpkin would just go up into here and that's no good. So we're just gonna continue doing that until we're done. Um, and once you're done, just take out your fuel. Um, the grass will turn to ash or you can just pull up the grass put it in your bag. All right, so we're all done. Um, I picked up the pumpkin and then the fuel roast at the top. The fuel will continue to keep the grass lit, uh, but I like to clean up after myself. So I'm gonna pick up the grass, put that in my bag. And a lot of people call this infinite wood. I wish this fire sound would stop. Um, a lot of people call this infinite wood because they believe that it lasts infinitely, but it doesn't. The trick is, if you have this wood in your inventory and you put it there, the uh, durability or whatever of the, the, the wood is now kind of like restored. So it kind of is infinite if you cycle it out. Um, and that, that's about it. Uh, so, one other little piece of advice is let's say that we want to uh, have little chunks of uh, pumpkin, right? We don't want all these big ones. Well, you cut it, and we can do the same thing. We can throw all the little pieces in here, <clears throat> and if you have any melee skills, you have like this ground pound or ground slam, whatever people like to call it. And looky there. So that's another piece of advice. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope it's understood. If I missed something, let me know in the comments. Point it out. I know how people love to point out when people are wrong on the internet. Uh, and I will definitely edit the video or change the, idiot, uh, the video. Again, not sure why I keep hearing fire, even though there's no fire. So, <laughs> um, it does happen from time to time. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. 